Hey guys, it's the Bean Town Angler, and today we're going to be talking about three tips and lore strategies you can use to catch a little tuna. Now, when I talk about little tuna, what I'm specifically referring to is full sail albacore and Atlantic Bonito. So first we'll take a look at false albacore. So now these lures are for false albacore. This one here, we have the one ounce epoxy jig by Hoagie. Now these lures are all by Hoagie. This is the one ounce. This is the Electro Chicken, and what makes this one special is it's got that ring of green right here. It's also one ounce. Then you got my favorite size, which is the 7 8 It's just slightly bigger, but it does make a difference. I think that the fish would hit this one more. I caught more fish with this one than the one ounce. And then finally we have the, the Mini Minnow, as you can see with the 7 8 it's small, but this one's actually much heavier than the 7-8s here. It's for long casting, but it's also small. Now, the one thing you'll notice about all these lures in front of me is that they're pink. Now, this is extremely important because for some reason, these fish, they go crazy for pink. They can't be any other color. They can't be green. They can't be orange. They can't be blue, red. They have to be pink. The fish just go crazy over pink lures. I mean, what's to say about it? Now these lures truly are the best lures for catching false albacore. Switching gears here, we're gonna talk about the lures for Atlantic Benito. Now, two of them, are these spreader rigs by this company called Live Target. They're super cool. Their products are awesome. So these these are some of the only lures that Benito will actually bite. These are good. They don't cast super far. I mean, you can see this one is bent from being hit too many times. But they, they don't cast super far, but they're really good if you know that the fish are in close and they're swimming around. Uh, I prefer this bigger size. I've never actually caught anything on this. I mean, I got a bluefish bit off the back, but um, this bigger one's more effective. And then the second lure we have, so these are great, but the second lure is an old school lure called a Swedish pimple. Now it comes with this extra yellow tail. Either one worked pretty well. For some reason, the fish just like that little pattern right there. These are good lures. We've caught some pretty good bonito on this. And now our third category technically isn't a lure, but this is the most effective way. It's just using live bait. So live bait, it's really the only way. I mean, these lures work for catching bonito, but if you really want to get one, you gotta use the live bait, preferably. Butterfish and squid, now they're both great. You can both catch good fish on them, but preferably, I would always use butterfish, just because they're less of a hassle. They're easier to catch. You catch by snagging them. There's no ink. There's no attached strings like squid. They're also easier if you want to keep like a live bait well. They're easier because they won't swim around and like hit their head. The thing about squid is if they hit their head too much, they can die. And it's happened a lot to us. So now we're going to talk about strategies that you can use with these lures to catch more tuna. But first, number one. Know where the fish are. So this is important because you don't want to be fishing in the wrong region. You got to know roughly where these fish swim to, where they spawn, their general area. Now we have step two. Find out specifics. 
You gotta find out specifically where in your area these fish are. What beach they're on, where they're coming through, what's the wind. You gotta know the specifics or else you won't catch any fish. And now we have probably the most important step, step three, which is stay at one spot. So, if you've done step two and if you've done step one, you know where the fish are, you know they're around your area, you have to choose a spot and just stay consistent because the thing with tuna that separate them from other species like bass and smaller fish, they move, they're really fast, they're constantly swimming around, they're not gonna just stay in one spot. So it's not like they're hanging around, they're gonna be swimming back and forth on your beach and if you stay and commit to one spot, you'll likely catch one if you stay consistent. That's the key, consistency. So with these tips in mind, and the lures that I've given you and the strategies, hopefully it will help you catch more fish and just in general have more fun. Alright guys, so that's the video. So what do you guys think of tip videos? You know, do you like them? Do you hate them? Should I never do them again? Comment below and also make sure you subscribe. We need more subscribers. That's what we're trying to get. Our goal right now is 100. I already mentioned it, but the giveaway's going on. So make sure you go check that out. It'll be here. Thank you.